What is good, everybody? It's your boy, JP Vlogs, man. And I'm back with uh, another video, but a little something different. You know what I'm saying? This is Will It Work. Uh, my car for a while has had a boost leak. I kind of knew, already knew what the culprit was. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what the deal is. So the hose that goes here to the throttle body, connects it in a cooler piping, was starting to split. So, um, pretty good. So that could definitely cause a boost leak, for sure. You can even see it through the other side. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but yeah, that's not a good thing. That's nothing you ever want. I got some of that uh, Flex Seal Slash. It's like the Rust-Oleum brand. And I wanna see if it works. I wanna see if it holds. I wanna see if that's the only boost leak that, you know, that, I'm, that I'm having right now. But we'll give this a shot, man. Let's see. I did not record um, me taking it off. It's pretty simple. It's just uh, two seven millimeters. Take the clamps off, you know, loosen them, pull the hose out, pretty simple. 100 PSI, crazy. I mean, I run 750 uh, PSI, so hopefully it holds. <laughs> but um, temperature's up to 500 degrees, negative 85. So with this type of silicone tape, like it just, once it sticks to itself, it starts to bond. And I guess it's a pretty strong bond. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this whole thing up you know, and see how it turns out. All right, see you guys in a minute. I don't know what I did with my um, tripod or whatever, but I got it pretty firmly wrapped. I just pulled it like really tight and just wrapped it around. And once it starts to stick to itself, it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, it's wrapped up pretty good. Yeah, starting to split all the way around there. But this is just a temporary fix, you know, just kind of see if it works. And if it works, it works for a little while. That'll be cool, uh, but interested to see if it does. Here it is, the finished product. I kind of wanted to paint it black to blend in, but I want to see if it starts to bubble up anywhere. Tried to press it down as much as I could and, you know, see if it holds. It's a pretty significant split. It says it holds 700 PSI. <laughs> we'll see if that shit works. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and reinstall this. Don't mind that oil there. I got to kind of clean this pipe out a little bit uh, from when I had the bad turbo, which there's a new turbo on it now, which... I didn't do a video on, but I'll put the link in the description for my homeboy Camel Style. Like and subscribe to his channel too. Uh, comment on his and uh, hit that bell for the notifications, you feel me? They surprised me with a turbo for Christmas. The turbo has been bad for forever. So, but now that, you know, that's good. You know, other things are starting to go. But it's 2007, 147,000 miles on it. The car is actually running pretty good for what it is. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this, uh, put this pipe back on and uh, we'll see how it rolls. All right, guys, so as you can see, this hose is back on. I, gotta re I really need to clean this engine bay for sure. But it was not fun getting back on because this is obviously a lot tighter now. Um, but it wasn't bad. So tighten the clamp here. Tighten the clamp here. Got everything plugged back in because I moved this pipe out of the way. Made it a little bit easier to get in there. But um, it's the moment of truth, man. I want to see if she holds some more boost than what she was before. Before kept going up to like 17. I think stock is like 23. Moment of truth. Let's piss the neighbors off. All right. So it's the moment of truth. She started. She's ready to go. And uh, it's hot in the morning. Never mind the steering wheel being off center. I had a, I had a little incident at the uh, at the compound the other day. Steering wheel's off center. That's why the ESC is on and all that. I'm trying to get out of this day of traffic, so I at least get some somewhat of a pool. Feels pretty good. But the car does have a tune. I disconnected the battery, cleared the check engine light, so she should be good. Boy, let me tell you, I picked the perfect time to go for a test drive. Ugh. Maybe I'll do this video tomorrow. Maybe do it like in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So I get some really good pulls. Too much damn traffic out here. Annoying. Where y'all going? Why y'all going home? Y'all knew I was coming out. Oh. Break up like bah, 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 bah. I don't know man, I think the Rustoleum's doing his job. 
It seems to be holding up, baby. Yeah, the reason why the car sounds like that too, it has a has an exhaust cut out, but the flat broke, so now it's constantly open. So that's pretty much why I piss off, you know, the neighbors and shit like that. Ain't nobody said nothing, but I know I'd be getting them stares like. This guy in his car, it's so loud. Why is it so loud? Oh, we're on the causeway, so let's see if we can open her up a little bit. Going uphill. Hey, she's feeling good, man. I love it, man. She's feeling real good, dog. Hey, man. There you go. Check out the beautiful scenery, man. Absolute gorgeous day. The car feels fixed. We'll see how long this Rustoleum holds up. But hey, it's good for 700 psi, dog. So I'm doing 23, or 22, or 21. I didn't look, but y'all will see it in the video. Oh. Almost thought that was a cop. You know, I didn't see them charger headlights. But anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Do another update in the comments or something later on. You know, see how long it holds up or if it's just a fluke thing until the check engine light comes back on. Hey, I'm happy right now. Car feels good. We ride. Besides this alignment, that'll be fixed too. If y'all haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, all that. It's free, bro. Just a couple clicks. So do it! Let's go, JP Vlogs, baby!